how to play mind games with a woman and win. Hey guys, in this video, I will teach you how to manipulate any woman so that she falls in love with you. This is really easy. You just have to be a little bit sneaky and understand how women think. They want to be dominated, but they also want their independence. They want a man who can take charge of the situation and make things happen. But they also want someone who will listen to them and respect their opinions. They want adventure, but they also want stability and security. So how do we use these contradictions against them? Well, it's all about playing mind games. A woman's mind is like an open book, she lets everything out there for everyone to see. All you have to do is learn what makes her tick, what she wants most in life. And then give it to her. You'll be able to manipulate her into falling in love with you. By using these simple techniques that I'm about to show you right now. TFZ. TFZ stands for Tactical Friend Zone. It's a tactic that exploits mistakes women make in their unconscious minds. And it's devastatingly effective on the ladies because of one thing. It takes advantage of a flaw in the female psyche. If you're watching this video, you've been friend zoned by a girl before, haven't you? How did that feel? Now, despite not wanting to be in a relationship with you, the girl keeps you around, and when you try to take things further, she says something like, I think it's better for us just to remain friends. It sucks, doesn't it? But what if you did the same thing to her? Instead of confessing your feelings at once and coming on too strong, you make statements that imply that you see the girl as a friend. If you ask her for advice, add a clause like, what do you suggest, as a friend? Flirt with other girls in her presence. Or subtly hint at the possibility of her dating one of her male friends. TFZ gets the woman thinking, am I just a friend to him? And because women act based on their emotions instead of logic. They'll become desperate for your attention and work hard to win your love. 2. The Cliffhanger. Let's play a second mind game. It's called the cliffhanger, and its purpose is to leave your girl in suspense. First, guess something about her that turns out to be true. Second, say something that ends in a cliffhanger. And third, sometime later in the interaction or relationship, repeat what you guessed earlier. Here's how it works. If you notice your love interest acting cold on a date, you could say, something is bothering you. She'll ask, how did you know? While being secretly impressed by your sensitivity. In this situation, you'll be tempted to brag about your EQ, but don't. Tell her, you can't understand, or, I'll tell you later. When next she seems distracted, repeat the educated guess you made earlier. See what I'm saying? Something is bothering you. Even if she doesn't confess what's wrong right away. You'll have succeeded in planting your words in her mind. When she's alone, she won't be able to stop thinking about what you said. And she'll look forward to hanging out with you more often. 3. Reverse psychology. Imagine that there's a girl who ticks all your boxes. She's caring, lively, and loves to have a lot of fun. You'd need her in your life, won't you? But what do you get when you show her how much you need her? Rejection. To increase your chances of success, get friendly with her. Make her feel a strong romantic tension when she's around you. So much that she's dying for you to ask her out. At this point, rather than fulfill her expectations, dangle them before her eyes. Show her that you're interested but not so interested that you'd be unable to do without her. Here's a quick illustration. You invite the woman to have a picnic with you. In reality, you can't wait to spend time with her. But instead of admitting that out loud, say something like. I know you can eat and drink in the comfort of your apartment. But doesn't it get too lonely sometimes? Wouldn't you rather take in the beautiful country landscape? And listen to birds chirping in the trees as you munch a burger? Guess what? She'll show up for that date feeling honored to be with you. Rather than expecting you to serve her. 4. Push her buttons. Have you ever heard someone say, I didn't mean for that to happen? It just did? Chances are that you've used that excuse yourself. Well, I'm here to break it to you that nothing ever just happens. All it takes is to push the right buttons, and we humans, like superior robots, react in a specific way. If you want to play this mind game, you must learn how to control the girl's feelings. She's pretty much like a light bulb. You can turn a bulb on and off by flicking its switch multiple times. However, if you do this too often, it'll eventually get to a point where the switch and the bulb will suffer damage. The same thing applies to a woman. This is where the use of fractionation can help you to push her buttons the right way. 
Click the link in the description for more details about fractionation. 5. The Barnum Statement. What's a Barnum Statement? A Barnum Statement is a specific type of affirmation. That has the general nature of, always, or, never. It's in the same vein as a cliché, but instead of being something like. The early bird gets the worm, it's something like, you're going to have better luck in life. If you believe in yourself. When a woman hears a Barnum statement from you. She'll likely conclude that you're a deep, insightful guy. Although this technique doesn't work every time. It's a safe way to tap into your target's subconscious early in the relationship. Once you've caught her attention and rubbed off some of your emotional energy on her. Work towards planting yourself in her innermost thoughts. You can do that by using the cliffhanger or the technique I'm about to reveal next. 6. Subduing the conscious. If a stranger touches you while you are in a deep sleep. Will you notice? What if you were awake? Will you swat away the person's arm? Or laugh it off? I'm guessing you'll swat away their arm. That brings us to the most important players in this game. And those are the subconscious mind and the conscious mind. When we're conscious, we can defend ourselves against external bodies. Or things we're not familiar with. Fortunately, that's not how it goes in the subconscious mind. When we're subconscious, we're more vulnerable to manipulation and control. If you can overwhelm a woman with so many pieces of information at once. The conscious part of her brain takes a break. And her subconscious steps in to fill the void. Once her subconscious is calling the shots. You can have her eating out of your palm. Here's a quick example. Let's assume she asks you how your day went. Instead of saying, fine, thank you. Yours? Give her the highlights of your day. Talk about random things you noticed. Paying close attention to her body language. After three or five minutes of you talking about your day. She'll start zoning out. Then you chip in something like, and then you called me. Or, and then I came here, or, then I saw you. By now, you'd have subdued her conscious mind. Her subconscious will have taken over the driver's wheel, and you can get in her head. If you want more insights and in-depth training then check the resources in the description. I hope you enjoyed this video and can use these techniques to win your dream woman. If you did, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel. And hit that notification bell so you'll be the first to know when I upload similar content. Thanks for watching, and until next time, keep playing the mind games.